uh, Acts chapter 5 verse 30 says that Jesus was crucified on a cross and but Deuteronomy 21 verse 22 says that one who hangs on a cross um, uh, that Jesus Christ, uh, that curse is the one who hangs on a cross which is a contradiction this is a very humiliating act. they say astaghfirullah how could it possible the, the, the prophet of God is cursed the Christians believe that Jesus was cursed we Muslims do not believe that next we see 5 verse 30 says Jesus was put to death on a tree but the Christians believe he was put to death on a cross what happens? let us see, it's not that difficult now first of all this is like more as uh, you know straw man argument it is like touching its straws let us see what uh, whether Jesus was crucified or not I can close it, I'll close this very short it's in Galatians chapter 3 verse 10 to 13 we see Jesus Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law having become a curse for us for it is written curse is everyone who hangs on a tree I am not saying that a Christian curses Jesus I am not saying that God cursed Jesus Jesus willingly took the curse that is on us on himself it was his voluntary choice it was righteousness by imputation as it is called in systematic theology he took it on himself we don't say he's cursed he became a curse for us next what about the words tree and cross even I was seriously I was taught by the Jehovah's Witnesses for the first few years of my coming to Christ and they believe that okay he was put to death on stake and all those things anyway so I used to think it is cross and stake what's going on I actually verified the versions or the different translations we see that in the NIV these are the different translations NKJV, KJV, ESV, NET, RSV, ASV uses the word tree but NASB, NLT, NCV, GWT uses the word cross tree and cross what's happening the same verse 5 verse 7 well you see if you look at the Jewish dictionary and in the words of the Messianic Jewish believer Dr. David H. Stern he says that the Greek word Zulon which KJV renders as tree and four other places all referring to what Yeshua was hanged on until he died Yeshua was not hanged on a, on a tree but on a stavros usually translated as a cross if Luke had meant a tree and not a stake the Greeks had a word for it which is called as dendron now reading Greek and I, uh, I, I can read and write Greek and stuff if I write the word zulon or anything else for a tree which is dendron I get an immediate negative marking dendron is a word for a tree stauros is for a cross zulon is an ambiguous word now Gerard Kittel who, said, who was uh, and Gerard Frege in the theological dictionary in the New Testament say that the cross is a distinctive use of Zulon in the NT for the cross these are experts I am a beginner in Greek I am doing advanced Greek rather but these are experts on Greek and that's what they have to say now notice let us see how the word Zulon is used in the New Testament Mark chapter 14 verse 48 am I reading a rebellion said Jesus that you have come out with swords and clubs and uh, swords and clubs to capture me. That word clubs is zunon. If you translate that word as tree, what does it mean? Have you come with swords and trees to arrest me? Does it make sense? No. It's an ambiguous word. Based on the context, the meaning is changed. Now, uh, Acts chapter 16, verse 24. Upon receiving such orders, he put them in the inner cells and fastened their feet in stocks. The word stocks, one which is next word tried, the word uses zunon. Was his legs tied to a tree in a cell? Seriously. Acts, uh, Acts uh, one of the most favorite, favorite verses, 1 Corinthians 3, verse 12, one of the favorites in the sermons. If any man built on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw, the word wood is zula. Has anybody considered that word as tree? Have you built your uh, walls on gold, silver, costly stone, trees? Does it make sense? It is an ambiguous word. This demonstrates that the Zulon can mean different words, uh, different things on different contexts. 